Well, I wanted to just take a couple of minutes just to share with you before we have one last song by the uh, adult choir. And uh, hopefully you've been blessed, even in these readings, just getting a chance to consider and reflect on some of the key characters and the journey that they went through arriving at Christmas. If you think about the different ones that we talked about, Zechariah and Elizabeth, can you ma- imagine their minds being blown at the idea of giving birth in their senior l- years for Those of you that are maybe in your later years now, can you imagine getting that news this Christmas that you're expecting a child? For the the body, we heard about the wise men and the long journey that they went on. I was thinking about this camel that's coming next week, riding a camel for one mile, let alone 1,400 miles on camels uh, to arrive at Jesus' uh, birth. Or the last one that we were pointing to with... uh, Uh, Mary, Jesus' mother, can you imagine mothering the God of the universe where at least you wouldn't deal with any discipline issues? But all of them, if you think about it, all, all of them had their own unique journeys, but yet similar to us, they all had probably the same different arenas that were influenced, mind, body, spirit. We can't ignore any of those in our Christmas experience. Think about the first one, the mind. That's an obvious one. Our our mind can't slip past unless we're hiding in a corner the idea that it's fast approaching Christmas. We talk about that whether it's visual or actually hearing Christmas. My son, we tease about being a bit of a Grinch. He's 13 years old and uh, when he showed up after Thanksgiving, a couple different stores and hearing on the radio, he's like, man, why do they start playing all the cheesy Christmas songs so early every year? And how do we get Mariah Carey off the playlist? I added that part. But either way, you think about it, that's part of our experience, what we hear, what we see. Advertisers are very committed to making sure we definitely don't forget that Christmas is coming, Right. I was uh, reading this week in uh, Forbes magazine that actually they're expecting for in the United States to actually break the one trillion dollar mark spent on Christmas this year. Isn't that unbelievable? And I'm not here to uh, give a hard time about that because my family participates too in the exchange of gifts. We actually have fun with it. My youngest daughter that was up here earlier, she's 10 years old, and in September she informed me that she already had her Christmas list complete September and when she came to me with that I was like okay well let's see your list and she's like oh it's not something to show you it's actually saved in your cart on Amazon all you need to do is check out true story true story she had it all saved in my Amazon cart in all honesty it was a lot easier that way but either way part of our uh part of our uh mind experience we can't can't ignore it we see it everywhere we hear it everywhere Also, our body experiences Christmas too. And you're like, Pastor, how does that relate? How does our body experience? How many of you have been drugged to at least one Christmas party this year that you didn't necessarily want to be at? Maybe a Christmas party with bad Christmas sweaters. Maybe it's an exchange of white elephant gifts. Anybody do that already this year? Or is that coming this upcoming week? I got some tea towels with white elephants on them. I don't really know how that relates, but either way, we're drugged to different things for sure. Some of you even drug here this morning. You're like, I'm listening to this random bald guy talk about Christmas, but either way, regardless, our body is part of the Christmas experience, our mind, our body. And so often the body part actually ripples into the next piece, the spirit. So often our body, because we've been going so hard, so fast, and running at such a pace during this season, we often neglect what I would suggest is probably the most important part of this Christmas experience, the spirit part. That's a, this, the spirit part is what keeps us from not just being a, a blob of flesh or a, a, a bunch of electric uh, impulses. It's a, the part of us that's invited to reflect and actually ask that question, how does Jesus, this baby, this birth, relate to me? How, do, how does that relate? How does that, how, how, why are we still celebrating this birth a couple thousand years later globally celebrating it? How that, does that work? Is there a maker? All these questions that we're asking. Is there a maker that I'm going to be accountable to someday? How do I deal with the different mistakes that I've made, all of the the build-up accumulation of sin in my life? Is this Jesus the rescue that I so desperately need? 
All of those things are questions that every single, single year at Christmas we're pushed to consider. And really, every single year with this area of our spirit that's a little less uh, something that you can put a finger on, we actually have the choice to decide to either engage spiritually in Christmas or to go another year kind of postponing the whole thing. Either way, we do make a choice. I wanted to give us just a, a couple uh, of moments here at the end of the service, just as we wrap up, to give you all one final Christmas gift from this gathering. And it's the gift of two minutes of time. You're like, Pastor, what do you mean by that? Two minutes of time I want to give you where we're actually going to be quiet and you're going to have a chance to actually talk to God. For a lot of us in this room, this is a great opportunity where you haven't had it, maybe a chance to slow down, where you get to actually tell him, thank you for your rescue. Thank you so much for choosing to come and engage and live a, 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 amongst those who had rejected you, allowing them to put you on a cruel Roman cross on our behalf. Thank you might be an appropriate word in your prayer. For others in the room, maybe a very first prayer might be this. You're like, I don't, I don't do that prayer thing. Maybe this prayer might be appropriate for you. Asking God this Christmas, God, if you're real, if this Christmas thing is a thing, which I would suggest it is, if it is a thing, reveal yourself to me this Christmas. I invite you in our, this couple moments of, of silence to pray that prayer. And for some of us, maybe one other group in this room here this morning, this is the other possibility in prayer. You have heard this Christmas thing every single year your entire life. You've heard the story of the wise men. You've heard about the shepherds. You've heard about Jesus, Mary, Joseph. You are familiar with all of it. But for some reason, you've chosen to never slow down enough to bend a knee Acknowledge your sin before a perfect God and accept his free gift through Jesus Christ. And it would be amazing if that was the decision that in these couple minutes of silence you made before God, Christmas 2018. So I'm going to stop yapping and actually deliver on this gift and give just two minutes of silence for you to talk to God. God, this morning, my prayer, and my hope is that we wouldn't get so involved with the mental part and the physical part of Christmas that we neglect the spiritual side of considering how this relates to us this Christmas. What does this newborn baby have to do with me? Pray for anyone in this room that's maybe postponed that decision for a really long time or neglected to give it thought that this might be a season of engagement how do we know that only your spirit can take blinders off and open hearts and minds i ask that you'd even do that this season god specifically even in this room now we thank you collectively just for this gift the amazing gift of your son coming down to dwell amongst us we celebrate that through song this morning. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.
Amen. Oh, we wanted to just again thank you so much for coming and be a, being a part of this this morning. A special thanks for every single person that sang their heart out this morning. Can we one more time thank all of them for being involved? If you didn't catch it, we th- this this isn't a group that we brought in from Hollywood. This is literally our church family. Every generation really represented here uh, this morning. That's all singing and celebrating one thing: the birth of Jesus Christ. I hope that's your experience this year as well. God bless you. Merry Christmas.